Hi, I'm Victoria, and in this video, I'll show you five easy ways to reset WordPress to default. Let's go! Resetting WordPress isn't always necessary, but in some cases, it can be the fastest solution to help you get back on track. When you reset a WordPress website to default, you restore it to the original settings. This is especially useful when you want to make drastic changes, such as redesigning the website. You may have been using the same theme and plugins, but now you want a completely new website look. Resetting your WordPress site gives you a fresh start. Second, solving performance issues. Sometimes you may encounter issues that affect your site's performance. If you don't know how to fix them or it's taking much longer than expected, resetting your site to default can be a better alternative. And the last, securing your website. Resetting your WordPress site to its original state can be the last resort if you experience cyber attacks. Before resetting WordPress, back up your files so you don't need to recreate everything from scratch. To learn more about it, check out our complete tutorial on how to back up a WordPress website. WordPress has a built-in feature for reinstalling the course software while keeping your site content intact, including its posts, pages, plugins, and themes. To access it, log into your WordPress admin dashboard and click Updates. Now click the Reinstall button. Wait until the process is complete and you are all set. But if an error is preventing you from accessing the WordPress dashboard, try the following method. For hosting your users, the auto-installer feature will help you reinstall or reset WordPress if you can't access the dashboard. Use an FTP client such as FileZilla to access your website files on a local computer. If you are not sure how to do that, watch our complete tutorial on how to use FileZilla. Once connected, go to the local site tab and create a new directory. On the remote site tab, select Domains. Click on your domain name and then open the public HTML directory. Right-click WP Content and select Download. The process can take a while, depending on the number of files you have in the folder. The downloaded WP Content folder should appear in the directory you created earlier, under the Local Site tab. Now access your H panel, click Website, then Auto Installer. Now click the Select button under WordPress. On the pop-up window, enter the website title, email, username, and password. Then click Next. Select the WordPress installation version and choose your preferred update schedule. Or use the default settings, then click Install. Once the installation is finished, go back to your FTP client and refresh the file and folder lists. After that, select the WP Content folder from the Local Site tab. Right-click it and select Upload to upload the folder to the public HTML directory. This will replace the core WordPress files, providing you with a new copy of the software while keeping your content files unchanged. Using a plugin is another way to restore the original settings directly from the WordPress dashboard. In this tutorial, we will use Advanced WordPress Reset. First of all, go to Plugins and click Add New. Then type WordPress Reset into the search bar. Find Advanced WordPress Reset and click Install Now. When it finishes installing, click Activate. To access the plugin options, navigate to Tools and select Advanced WP Reset. To perform a reset, type Reset on the confirmation box and click Reset Database. A pop-up window will appear, so click Continue. Once the reset process is complete, you will be redirected to the admin login page to re-enter your credentials. Note that this will create a new WordPress database and deactivate all plugins. If you want to take a step further and delete all your plugins, go to Custom Reset tab. Under the Reset Files section, select Delete All Plugins, then click Run Reset Now. Aside from deleting plugins, this plugin also lets you reset other WordPress elements, such as themes, the WP content folder, and the HD access file. If you want to completely wipe out all WordPress files, this method is for you. All you need to do is remove the existing files and databases and reinstall WordPress. On each panel, navigate to Files and select File Manager. Choose Access Files of your domain name. 
Open the public HTML directory and select all files inside the directory. Right click and select delete. To delete the databases, go back to HPanel and under the databases section, select management. Delete all databases on the list of current MySQL databases and users. To reinstall WordPress, go to website and click the auto installer. Then press the select button under the WordPress and you are all set. And now you know how to reset WordPress to default using different methods. So which method will you try? Let me know in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and share it with your friends. For more WordPress related videos, subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.